Hello everyone, Kybora here, and today I will be bringing you another video for PC optimization and bottlenecking in Escape from Tarkov. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to exit Escape from Tarkov. Before I get into the new PC optimizations, I just want to bring to your attention to make sure that you go through the first guide I created on this. If you go to my channel, and I'll also post a link in the description below. I recommend watching this first because these settings in this first video might help you out without even have to do in this second part. And I just want to apologize in advance for AMD users since I have an Nvidia graphics card and this next part does not directly apply to you. Hopefully in your AMD settings, you can find the equivalent. After getting to your desktop, you're going to right click on the screen and you're going to go to select NVIDIA control panel and it will open to this. First, you're going to click on adjust image settings with preview. Make sure that the middle mark is checked for use the advanced 3D image settings. This will make your system use these settings that you have selected here. These are the settings you want to use. I will scroll through it so that you can take a moment to see what I have them set at. And I will go over and explain the ones that have a little bit more depth to them but a trick that you can do is if you scroll down on the outside of the box you can see that there's a description and a typical usage scenarios for them and to bring that up you just have to hover over the name and that will give you a better idea of what may work for you or what may not these are the settings that I use. I recommend trying this out. Now the first thing that you're going to do is image sharpening. It's probably already off by default because it's the recommended setting. But we're going to turn it on and the default setting should have it at 0.50 and 0.17. You're going to keep it like that. You will leave GPU scaling unchecked but this is a quick note if you actually have a really good cpu and a not so good graphics card you can actually turn on gpu scaling and in game it will actually allow you to select a lower resolution than what you currently have but if you're experiencing the more common issue of having a weaker cpu and a better graphics card leave this unchecked but you will click ok and then you'll go on to the next you want to turn anti-aliasing fxaa to on even though inside the game itself it also has anti-aliasing settings the fxaa actually adds on top of it again we get to dsr factors now this can be a pretty big thing when it comes to running this game. You want to turn it on and you can select any of these that you desire. My personal opinion is I selected these three. So what this does is this actually allows you to run at a higher resolution than your graphics card can normally push for your monitor. But what this does is it pushes out the higher resolution but scales it back down to your native resolution. This can be good if you are struggling to get good frames with having the bottleneck at your CPU because your GPU is so much more powerful than it. Because when you increase the resolution of your game, it actually puts more stress on your GPU, which is a good thing because it's gonna take stress off your CPU and your GPU running at a high percentage 
is never a bad thing. Keep the DSR smoothness at 33% by default. That's what it was for me. Make sure power management mode is on prefer maximum performance. Now texture filtering negative level of detail bias you want to put to clamp. This is good to keep because the whole purpose of what we're doing is to make your graphics card use as much power as possible. Now you might be thinking, well, I'm trying to increase my FPS. This actually increased my FPS by 10 doing all the settings this way. Hopefully it works for you. It might not because every computer is different and every situation is different. So keep that in mind when doing this. And you can play around with all of these to see which one works best for you. For threaded optimization, I recommend to keep it on auto if you don't know if you have hyper threading on your PC. If you went through my first guide and you went through the steps of unlocking all the cores of your processor, you will know if you have hyper threading. So if you have a four core processor, but you're able to select eight, that means you have hyper threading. Same thing if you have a six core processor and you're able to select 12, that's hyper threading. If you have four and you can only select four, you don't have hyper threading. If you only have six and you can only select six, you don't have hyper threading. Then I recommend to put triple buffering to on and turn vertical sync onto fast. Now, vertical sync is very tricky here because my monitor is only a 60 hertz. I can't go above 60 anyways. If you're trying to go above 60 frames per second, I recommend keeping it off and turning it on in game ends up unlocking the 120 frames per second cap. So after all that is done, you will click apply and it'll save. And then you're gonna go to configure surround comma physics. Now, if you know that your graphics card is a lot better than your CPU. You're gonna select this and you're gonna actually select your graphics card. If you are unsure, just keep it on auto select. And I would definitely never recommend to select CPU even if you have seen other guides recommend to do so. Either select your graphics card or auto select. And then after all your settings are done, here's the example of the DSR where you can select a high resolution. See, it unlocks these crazy resolution numbers. For me, selecting them didn't actually increase my frames, but I have tested this out on two other computers because I have a laptop and I have my fiance's computer that she games on. So it has helped increase it on hers. She has an i5 4400 processor with a GTX 1050 Ti. I have an i7 3770 processor with a GTX 1070. Those are two different PCs right there. And my laptop is an i3. I don't know the numbers behind it. All I know is my laptop is an i3 processor with integrated graphics and I can barely run the game on factory. Well, that's all I have for settings, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It helps me out a lot. And you can follow my new social media links down in the description. 
You can also join me at the discords that I hang out at. I have them below as well in the description. And I really appreciate you watching the video. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. That helps me out as well. I'm glad I was able to help people out. Have a good one. And good luck escaping from Tarkov.